Welcome back to today's palette. We are using the Morphe Cross Jeffree Star palette, which is a stunningly beautiful palette if I do say so myself. We are doing a look that was heavily inspired by the amazing makeup artist Nicolette off Instagram. I will link everything down below that she does. I love her work. We are of course making a very, very messy black eyeliner look using the shade Fastlane and then on the outer corner I'm combining the shades Boss Angeles and High Dude and creating a very very messy look on the outer corner there. I am going to be slightly blending that out with the shade Wand Noise. Now I'm going to be the first to admit throughout this video it is it's a rough look. It is very very messy throughout this entire video. I did a lot of blending off camera um, so it does get better. Stay with me here. It does get better. I do promise you that but at it, some stages throughout this video it's gonna look rough. Using the shade channel, I am blending that into my inner corner area and diffusing my outer corner with that as well. After I was happy to blend, it's time to cut the crease. I'm just using my favorite, uh, it was actually a concealer that I used to prime my eye as well. And then for the pink cut crease, I'm using three different shades. Of course, we're making an ombre. On the outer corner, I'm actually using like a purple shade, which is called Mogul. In the center, I'm using Self Made. And the inner corner, I'm using the shade two. Now this actually took a lot of work, so you do have to take a lot of time and care with this. So I packed on a lot of the color and then I just went in between the colors. So I mixed the purple and the pink to create that ombre for that section. And then I had to go in with the some very light pink color and sort of swept that over top of the middle shade to create the ombre for that one. And you just have to go back and forth as much as you possibly can until it's like, well, as, as ombre as you particularly like. Now I did go back in with a pencil brush quite a few times to really de deepen that outer corner again. I wanted it to be extra like, I wanted it to be really deep on the outer corner. So I went with the black, the brown and the darkest purple shade just to uh, keep the intensity there as well. And of course taking uh, multiple clean blending brushes and uh, blending the outer corner so it was really diffused with the crease shades as well. So we had more of a cohesive look. Again, a lot of the blending was done off camera. It saved a lot of time. So I didn't have like a 20 minute video just doing one eye. To highlight all my eyebrow bone, I did the shade Welcome and I used that to do my inner corner as well, which we will go back on later on. I am gonna jump into the base just so we I can clean up all that fallout for a bit later on. I am using a pore filling primer from Makeup Revolution. Very affordable and I do like how this makes my makeup sit as well, so it's quite nice. Speaking of a very un unaffordable, this is such an expensive product, is the Hourglass uh, Finish van Vanish Stick, I think it is, in linen. It's very expensive and I'm just trying to use it up to be honest. I just feel like I didn't get the use out of it that I really should have for the price. And of course I'm just uh, concealing my under eyes because I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> so I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer for this as well. And using a small, like it's actually a highlighter brush from Real Techniques and just using the Colourpop uh, loose, uh, loose powder, just setting my under eyes. Then I'm going to zoom you back in and we're going to finish off the eye look. I'm sort of just doing the reverse of what we did on top. So I'm creating the shade, I think it was like Boss Angeles and then I went back in with the shade High Dude right in the outer corner back in with channel and then I actually use the shade Honest Truth with a really big fluffy brush like here so everything was like really soft and I really liked how that turned out. I wanted something quite bronzy because we are doing such a like a pink look on the eye so I didn't want anything too heavy on the cheeks such as like a really hot pink blush I'm not doing that I am using blush but like I'm using a peach toned um, so that really helps subdue it and I mixed that quite heavily with my bronzer as well so we it wasn't too pink. I really didn't want everything to be pink. Using my current favorite highlighter from Jouer, I'm, I'm quite obsessed with this on a fan brush. So it wasn't too intense because I just really wanted the eye look to be uh, the star of the show, not like the highlight like I usually do. But I chucked on these ridiculously large lashes, which I was quite obsessed with. I love how they turned out. And we're going with a nude glossy lip here. So I'm using Nude by Milani and then I'm using this ColourPop gloss on top of it. And I really like how this look turned out and I hope you did too. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I hope you all have a beautiful day, night or wherever you are.